Hi, my name is Todd Creviston, and I'm a benefit educator here at Westpath. Welcome to Benefit Bites. It's a video series focusing on small bites of your benefits from Westpath. This segment will focus on United Methodist Personal Investment Plan. At Westpath, we like our acronyms, so you'll hear this plan commonly referred to as UMPIP. In my section, or my bite, we'll cover four basic questions that you're probably having about this plan. First is, what is UMPIP? Then how does it work? What are my options? And what are my resources? We'll cover all these questions in the next several minutes. UMPIP is a voluntary retirement plan for eligible clergy and laity with the goal to provide you with income in retirement. As a person working at Westpath, UMPIP is my retirement plan. Depending on your length of service, you might have additional benefits available to you, including CRSP, MPP, and pre-82. You may also have Social Security benefits available. You might have other employer plans where you were a second career clergy person, or maybe your spouse's retirement plans. And then lastly, personal savings. All of these will become sources of income in retirement. Contributing to UMPIP can make a positive impact on your retirement income. UMPIP is a defined contribution plan. It's also called a 403B plan. This is a retirement plan where participants can contribute from their paycheck. You can contribute a percentage of your paycheck or a straight dollar amount. Your employer um, uh, may also provide matching funds. So check with your employer to see if they do. Um, I have to say, even if your employer doesn't offer a match, participating in UMPIP is still a great opportunity to save uh, for your retirement. So with Westpath and UMPIP, you can decide um, on, your, on your investment options. So there's two options. You can self-manage. That means that you select your funds and you determine the allocation of your contribution to those funds um, in your account. So that's called self-managed. The other option would be to opt into life stage investment management. That places your account on autopilot. To enroll, you simply obtain the enrollment packet from your HR department, complete the enrollment form, and submit it back to your HR department. Once you're enrolled, all you need to do is um, update the contribution election form um, at any time throughout the year. So you can, or you are allowed to change your contributions at any time during the year. And then once you're enrolled, you can log into Benefits Access and update your beneficiaries. There are four basic ways to contribute to your UMPIP account. You could do that on a before tax basis, after tax basis, a Roth contribution, which is a form of after tax, and you can also roll over a prior employer's qualified plan into your UMPIP account. You can contact EY, that's our um, Telephonic Financial Planning Service. They're available to help you determine what's the best way to contribute to your UMPIP plan. The contribution limits are high. Um, before tax and Roth contributions for 2021, you can contribute up to 19,500 if you're under 50 years of age. If you're over 50 years of age, you're allowed to contribute another $6,500 in catch-up contributions. What we'd like you to focus on and what we recommend is that you contribute what you can reasonably afford and then make a plan to increase that amount over time because that will make an impact. At Westpath, you have a huge number of resources available to you. You could see here just a snapshot of our screenshot of our homepage. <clears throat> You access Benefits Access by clicking that little white button at the tip of the orange arrow. If you haven't enrolled yet, that's the step where you'll go to enroll or register at Benefits Access. For those who've already enrolled and set up their account, you can go there and um, enter your credentials and view all of your account information, all of your account balances, update your beneficiaries, even run a projection. Another section I'd like to call out from westpath.org is the retirement and investment section. Uh, there are all the information about the retirement plans, investment information, 
and more. You could actually spend days on that section of our web page, learning about all the plans and all of the details. Um, I mentioned EY earlier. They are wonderful. They provide unlimited telephonic financial planning advice to you. They're objective. Um, Westpath actually pays the fees for them to provide that service. Uh, there's no additional cost to you and really no question too big or too small for these professionals. If you have a question about your benefits access account or trouble with the account, you can call Westpath Participant Solutions and then you can also access benefitaccess.org to log in. Um, they also have an app available for you to view your account while you're on the go. So to wrap this up, if you're not enrolled in UMPIP, we'd encourage you to do so as soon as you're able. Then register your benefits access account, select your beneficiaries, and then create a plan to increase your contribution to UMPIP over time. Lastly, be on the lookout for upcoming Westpath web uh, webinars and also register for those webinars. My name is Todd Creviston. I'm a benefit educator at Westpath. I want to thank you for taking the time to take a bite out of UMPIP.